right, I want to get right now to Channel 2's Amy Davis. She is live for us in Kingwood. Amy, good morning. Good morning, Andy. We are just down the road from that intersection of Forest Gardens and Kingwood Drive. This is a major shopping center off of Kingwood Drive. And this HEB that you see, that building right behind me, that was completely flooded during Harvey. They pretty much rebuilt that HEB. I can't tell you how long ago, but it wasn't that long ago that it just reopened. The store is not taking on water right now, but we want to show you this parking lot. It's where a lot of vehicles we see have taken higher ground, have come here and stopped. But look at the ground right now. Now, Caesar's kind of trying to, we're trying to keep up and hear one another because it's loud out here. Look at how fast this water is moving through this parking lot. We're walking up to higher ground, but you can see it almost looks like a current just going back towards the HEB. You can see these vehicles here parked up on these grassy areas. We were going to take you over there with us. We can tell you that cell service, internet service has gotten very spotty out here. So if you have problems with our signal, um, that is also going to be why. Um, this water is getting pretty high. We are being very careful, guys. Um, but we want to take you over here and see if we can talk to some of these folks. It seems like a lot of people in this area um, were just already on the roadways this morning trying to maybe get to work because it seemed okay. And then the water just came up very, very quickly. We'll go over here and see if anybody is still in these vehicles. Um, over there on Kingwood Drive, where we were earlier this morning, we know there were people sitting inside their vehicles. Um, I spoke with Councilman Dave Martin's office and asked if they knew of any high water rescues going on. And they said not necessarily rescues at this point, um, but there were a lot of high water vehicles out. Um, I do see someone inside this vehicle. We'll see if they want to talk. And as he's rolling down his window, I see cars stalled right there, just feet from his truck. Do you mind if we ask you a couple questions? Obviously, he's on the phone with somebody and obviously not wanting to roll down his window in this rain. Um, just multiple cars here that you can just tell how quickly this came up. There's a Walgreens here. There's an Orange Theory Fitness in this parking lot. And I was told by another resident who's probably on one of the Facebook groups that they did have water inside that um, club that they were hearing on Facebook, inside the Orange Theory Fitness. Um, and there's a woman here looking like she's trying to cross this parking lot. I don't think that's a good idea. I would not step down into that. Um, that ma'am, I hope she's not coming over here. To you don't have, ma'am, that's too deep. Okay, um, she is coming over this way. Um, I'm not sure where her vehicle is parked, but a lot of people, can you imagine if you were in that white car, you feel like you have to go somewhere. Hi, get under my umbrella. You're trying to get under your, your vehicle. Get back to my car. Is one of these right here? Yeah, the white one. What happened? Like, how were you out? I mean, I went to OT to exercise this morning at 7, and it was barely raining. That's and what we just said. That's Orange Theory Fitness? Orange Theory, and it started pouring. And when I tried to leave at 8, I couldn't get out. That's exactly. We were kind of driving through this area when the rain all started, but it just came up so quickly. Are you far from your house? Yes, I live back in Kings Point, okay. all the way in the back. So that Kingwood Drive is flooded going that way. So you got out of your car here to try to call somebody? or I just just to get out. I've been in there since 8 o'clock. Yeah. What is that, two hours? Is it 10 now? Uh, I think so. I know. I actually haven't looked, and I'm trying not to take out my phone because everything's getting wet. Yes. Um, so if you're sort of in this area, we were just explaining to people that this HEB, isn't it one that was just... It was rebuilt right after Harvey. It was rebuilt, and then it flooded with Harvey right after it was rebuilt. Ah, okay. And so and then they had to fix it up again. Right. It reopened, I think, in November after Harvey. Have you spoken with anybody at your house? I mean, is everything good? We know that some structures they said had taken on water, but they're not saying where. My husband is okay at our home. My daughter in Eagle Springs has water up to her, you know, front door sidewalk there. Uh -huh. So I hope it doesn't come in her half home. Exactly. And good news that it has not so far. I'm going to let you get back inside your vehicle okay. because I'm going to walk you over to your vehicle because it's uh, not that this is doing much good. I feel like I'm soaked underneath this umbrella. Um, this works pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that's um, it's just coming down really heavy and we're not hearing yet exactly when it's going to let up. But you have notified somebody that you're waiting here. It's just yes, a matter of I'll just wait till the water recedes and we can get get home safely. All right. Thank you so much. Good luck. Stay dry. As dry as possible. That sounds ridiculous.
Okay, so a lot of these people, that, that's their situation. They're stuck here now. This is off of Kingwood Drive. And as she said, that's, we were hearing that there was water inside the Orange Theory. And I didn't ask her if it came inside the building. But she said she couldn't get out of this parking lot, went in at 7. And by 8, this parking lot um, was too full to get her vehicle out. Um, Caesar, did we show them these cars over here? That is probably what would happen to her vehicle if she tried to leave. This is one of the major entrances into this strip center right here. Um, you can see two vehicles stalled out right there and can't tell if anybody's inside of those, but hopefully they walk to higher ground or inside one of these stores that are open. I mean, and you can see, as we said, how quickly this water is rushing and you saw how high it came up on the woman as she was crossing just the driveway here. Um, it looks scary to walk across because the water is moving so swiftly. Andy?